It's a rainy day here in Foxborough. Hope I can get out there and open this so I can show you what I bought for the boys. I'll just quickly run out and get this open here. Check it out. They've been wanting a basketball hoop for a really long time. And so we looked online today and looked at reviews and uh, ended up finding this Spalding one, which I think turns out to be the same one our neighbors have. We found it at Walmart for $197, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So now I gotta try and get this thing in the garage so I can build it. Serious instruction book here, like a small magazine. Put that over there. Let's see. These pieces probably from the backboard. This thing is just the thing the ball goes off of when you shoot. A bunch of boxes of stuff. So, the last thing is the base. So, everybody says online that these things are difficult to put together. But I usually like the challenge like this. And let's see what's in the boxes. Read the manual a bit and then we'll start assembly. But here's the, here's the actual backboard. Looks pretty good. Big. Clear. There's all the bits, bolts, and the column piece, and some net stuff, and wheels, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to start looking through the directions and see how this goes together. That's it, the, towards you, and then push back, yeah. That's probably tight enough. Okay, now do the other one. On the other side. How do I take it off? Lift it up. You go to the other side and do the same thing. Put it on top of that bolt there. That's it. Okay, now that's it. Good. Don't move that switch on the back where it'll switch over to the other direction. There you go. That's it. Use the ratchet. There you go. Pull it towards you more. Watch out for those staples. Yeah. No, just pull it towards you. Is it too tight? No, Maybe it's already tight enough. There you go, that's good. That's probably good enough, Aiden. I think like two more. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay, so Aiden and me have been reading the directions, and now it says we have to figure out which one is the middle section, which I think is this one. That's the middle. And then there's a bottom section. I think the bottom's going to be that one. Uh, Will it say it on it? Uh, no. So, this one here. This one. I heard something on the boat. And you travel off the boat. Emily, what are you doing? This one here says bottom. Okay, so that's bottom. And that's middle. 
Okay. And it says we're supposed to measure three and a half inches along there and mark it with some tape. So three and a half inches from the Yeah, then we might have to be outside in the rain, we'll see. So, we need three and a half. Do you even hold this, Aiden? What? Come in here. Come over this side. Can you just hold that tape measure on there? Yeah. Like that? Oh. Hold it like that, against the end there. Okay, so we need to get three and a half. Thank you, three and a half. So, we need to get from three and a half on this section too. So can you maybe three and a half in that end? Yeah, three and a half. And pick it up. So now we're supposed to take the take the middle section and bounce it into the bottom section. Okay? No. So this is the bottom section. So you're supposed to put it on a piece of wood that you've got here. Should I like... You can put that away. Emily, what are you doing? And then put this... This goes in here. You can't see me on the camera. Hey, do you want to go in the camera up a bit more? Yeah. Flip, flip the... Uh, Thing down so you can see what we're doing. So flip flip like the, the screen down. Okay, now pick the camera up. Pick it up and look at me. Okay. So we're supposed to <laughs> three and a half inches. That is almost as tall. Like the ceiling's right there and the yeah. pole's like three and three oh. and like three feet. Which one feels better? Mine. Get me on video rated? Yep. Apparently, this is a critical step to get this in. Three and a half inches. Step. Okay. So, that right? Okay. There, almost. There's the hoop. Ah, less parts now. Got to put the mechanism together, I think. Back inside and in the dry again. I'm not doing this fiddly stuff of assembling the backboard. It's getting complicated. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing in here. Okay, that bit was tricky. This, yeah, tricky. Uh, but now, the thing that holds the rim on shouldn't be too high. Springs on and the rim on, and we should be in business. But uh, definitely not there yet. Probably one of the more difficult projects I've had. It's certainly not taking me six hours, it's been four hours. But, uh, it's not not something I recommend if you don't have some kind of camera aptitude. 
was he going to kind of do a little bit of you know, messing around to get this stuff to go together. But it's pretty smooth once it's there. I mean, it's just a nice, easy mechanism. But I had to loosen up the bolts on the bracket to get these to align properly and then retighten them. Um, but it's getting there. Almost there. Almost there. Got to put the pads on the sides of the backboard. Figure out which side is. So that's that side. tricky bit. Getting all those things on and lined up, kind of tricky. Um, still got to finish the pads. Backboard, not difficult to get on at all. Just got to do the net. Overall, I would say a couple hours project. A little bit of wrenching, but the boys will be pleased. Tomorrow we'll be outside shooting some hoops. Almost done. No, this isn't the lowest it goes, this is the highest it goes. Got to spin the net. And then, got to put some water in the base, so it doesn't fall over. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll be all set to play. Huh? Play. Why are you laughing? Why don't you come say hi, Emily? Are you going to play basketball on this too, or is it just for the boys? Aiden's so excited he wants to try it in the rain with flip flops. Shoot it! Uh oh. Woo! It's a basket! Nice one. There we go. All done. <laughs> 